winning the war in your brain, fear, stress, anxiety and depression, versus pleasure, happiness and joy. The number of people worldwide reporting feeling stress or anxiety is massive. 80% of US workers say they experience stress on the job. That's according to the APA. COVID added to the problem with a spike in anxiety, 37% up from an 8% pre-COVID. And depression, 30% up from 6%, according to the World Economic Forum. One positive thing about COVID, though, has been that employers and governments are beginning to take mental health a lot more seriously. Though many fall back on the health systems who seem intent on the flawed idea of medicating people out of their problems rather than dealing with the root causes. I have a series of advantage guides and we're taking a rather special approach to the issues by looking at the flip side of fear, stress and anxiety in the brain by comparing and contrasting these with happiness and joy in the brain. One side raises performance while the other inhibits it. We'll begin with why joy at work matters and then I'm going to share something that has discouraged far too many people from even thinking that they can do this. I trust that this will encourage you to know that you, me and everyone else on this planet, we all doubt we deserve to be joyful and that's a lie from the pit of hell. Then we'll need to understand that you, me and everyone else are biased and prejudiced. That is, we each have our own set of lenses through which we see and interpret the world around us and how these lenses may alter our perception. Understanding our own biases and how to mitigate any negative impact is essential for personal development progress. After that, we'll be looking at developing your understanding of the circles of power, influence and concern, so that you can easily assess what challenges within your power to change or affect, what matters to you and what is beyond the reasonable possibility of your control. We'll then develop your knowledge about fear, stress and anxiety in the brain and compare and contrast these with joy, pleasure and happiness in the brain. Next, we'll be guiding your understanding on how we respond to these challenges, choosing to be at cause for our life or at effect of others, events and the challenges we face. Finally, we'll empower you with four practical guides that you can choose to raise performance at work, increase happiness in your whole life, increase joy at work and lastly, how to bounce back from stress to joy. It's going to take us a little while to get there. I've got a total of eight or nine podcasts to be covering this whole process. So come along with me for this ride. Give me your feedback as we progress, what you would like to know, and practical tips on how to do this better.